Hi, it's Kevin Wright here, back with another property finance tip. You can see a bit of a bit different background this week, and that's because I'm about to start one of my buy, refurb, refinance summit meetings. So I thought I'd just jump on and do a quick video um, before everyone gets here. So what am I going to be talking about this week? Well, I'm going to be talking about why it's difficult to get a mortgage on a property if it's bang next door to a commercial property. So if that's interesting, stick around. So you found a property that ticks a lot of boxes, but one characteristic of it is right next door, there's a commercial property or building. It doesn't matter what it is, it could be a petrol station, a pub, a restaurant, a takeaway, or any other type of um, building, but it's, it's put to a commercial use. Now, does that represent a problem getting a mortgage? And the answer is, it does, yes. But I'm gonna drill down into why that is. Now, depending what it is, depending what the commercial activity going on next door is, depends on how big a problem it's going to be. So, why is it a problem? Now, if you looked at one of my other videos, uh, and I'll put a thumbnail here to show you why it's difficult to get a mortgage on a flat above commercial, then this is a very similar reason. Now, mortgage lenders, whenever they're considering lending uh, to you as a borrower, they will look at the property and they've always got one eye on how do we get our money back or how easily do we get our money back if you, the borrower, don't keep up your mortgage payments, you get seriously into arrears and we have to repossess you. So now they're looking at, are, is there any perceived lack of demand? And if there's a perceived lack of demand, that means that they might struggle to sell it quickly or for the same sort of value. Now let's look at your property, which is next door to um, a commercial property, whatever it might be. Now for everyone that says, oh, how fantastic, next door uh, is a pub, I don't need to get a taxi home and I can drink as much as I like, or um, I can nip next door for, an, for a curry. Um, there's probably um, a lot more people that say, I don't want to live next door to that. It's because of the antisocial element to it. So commercial activity um, has footfall usually, because it's gonna be a shop usually of some sort. And that footfall uh, creates noise and disturbance in varying amounts. Um, so if you think if you're next door to a pub, people go in a pub to drink alcohol, alcohol tends to make people louder than they would normally be. So therefore, um, that's a deterrent to wanting to live next door to a pub or takeaway or whatever it else is you want to be. Fish and chip shop, doesn't really matter. So that's the issue. Now, some lenders are gonna just say, we don't want to lend because we can see there's a potential problem and we'd rather cut that problem off at the knees and say, um, if we never lend on it, we're never gonna have a problem trying to sell it if we have to repossess it. So, you know, prevention is better than cure, if you like. So that's a, a common uh, way that lenders would look at it, or certainly some lenders. Now, now this doesn't mean to say that you can't get a mortgage, but as with anything where there's reduced availability, those people, in this case, those lenders, that are prepared to operate in that space can charge a higher rate because there's less competition. Very simple economics there. What someone is prepared to do that most of their competition won't be prepared to do, they can charge a higher fee or rate for. So, um, you know, as, as brokers, we could find you a mortgage lender that would lend, but you, there's a premium to pay in terms of the rate. So you have to decide whether the house that's right next door to the commercial property is that good that it warrants paying a higher rate. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. The other aspect of that, going back to this antisocial commercial activity, is the more antisocial that the lender thinks it is, the less chance you've got to get in a mortgage and the even higher rate you've got to pay 
to get a mortgage. So, you know, if it's, I don't know, let's say it's a greetings card shop, um, opens at nine, shuts at five or 5.30, well, it's commercial, but it's quite benign, isn't it? You know, you're not going to offend too many people uh, living next door to that. You know, <laughs> someone doesn't get loud and, and, uh, and, and obnoxious buying greeting cards, do they really? Now, make that a bar with late opening um, and you've got a completely different story. Um, so there could be you know, much more anti-social behaviour going on and would you want to live next door to that? Now, another angle is if you're going to tenant this out, are your tenants going to want to live next door? Or might you find that it takes longer to rent and you have a higher tenant churn because they experience the disadvantages of living next door to a commercial property as well. So it's not just the fact that it's more difficult to mortgage, it may be more difficult to tenant and for tenants to stay there for a prolonged period. And you don't need me to tell you that tenant voids hit your overall returns. So there we are. That's this week's video. I'm going to be back next week with another property finance tip. I'll see you then. If you enjoyed watching this video, did you know every Monday morning at 8.30, I do a live Facebook Q&A. So if you want to start the week with checking out some answers to your property finance questions, click the link here.